Fluorescence and phosphorescence are forms of luminescence that are widely applied in many chemical, biochemical, physical analysis and daily basis. Fluorescent process is used in biochemistry to identify certain specimens under a microscope, as seen in these images. The phosphorescent process is commonly perceived as the idea of glow-in-the-dark objects. An example of this is the glowing suits on the Wrecking Crew Orchestra dancers. In the following video, the dancers utilize phosphorescent lights because they have longer decay time than fluorescent lights. In fluorescent process, the molecule will absorb light and its electron will be excited to a higher electronic state from a lower excited state with the same spin multiplicity, known as singlet state. The excited electron rapidly relaxes from high to low vibrational levels within the same singlet state. Then the electron relaxes to the ground state resulting in emission of photons. For a better understanding of fluorescence process, the relation of fluorescence and absorbance is achieved by comparing their spectra. As seen in this figure, the molecule, fluoresce, due to quick emission of photon after giving off the energy via vibrational relaxation. Therefore, fluorescence spectrum possesses a lower frequency and a longer wavelength relative to the absorption spectrum, resulting in the shift between the wavelengths of fluorescence and absorption as denoted as stock shift. Fluorescent material can instantly emit photons as the visible light to the fraction of a second, so it is most likely used as the source of luminescence in various laboratory works for a better visual effect. Fluorescence in situ hybridization, referred to as FISH, is used to detect chromosomal abnormalities in DNA. DNA probes attached to fluorescent molecules, usually DNA binding proteins, are attached to specific sequences of DNA, which emit light under fluorescent microscopy and can in turn be used to detect genetic abnormalities in the DNA sequence. Phosphorescence is another type of radiative transition involving the emission of photons during relaxation. Unlike fluorescence, phosphorescence is referred to as the transition of electronic states with different spin multiplicities. Electron moves from excited singlet state to an excited triplet state. However, the transition between the singlet and triplet state is forbidden, but there is the possible overlap of vibrational states of the singlet and triplet of a corresponding electronic state denoted as inter-system crossing. The following spin flip will take place and change the orientation of electron spin from anti-parallel to parallel before transitioning to excited triplet electronic state. The electron then relaxes back down to ground state. Energy emission occurs for both phosphorescence and fluorescence. The rate of emission over time is quicker for fluorescence than phosphorescence according to the graph. Phosphorescence experiences a slower emission rate because the transition is not allowed and the requirement of the spin flip prior relaxation process. As a result, phosphorescence has a greater lifetime than fluorescence. There are of course many applications of phosphorescence, but for now we will discuss only one example, and that is drug testing. Drugs such as cocaine and phenobarbital are from a phosphorescent class of drugs, called sulfonamides. When testing for drugs in biological samples such as urine, or blood, these compounds will emit phosphorescence if present. This image shows a sample drug test.
Goodbye. Thank you for watching.